Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. So today's video is going to be the Sephora VIB sale haul for spring. I am so excited. So today is the first day of the VIB sale. So I was able to pick some things up and I'm just going to share with you guys what I got so far. I think that's pretty much all that I'm going to get in store. I do have a couple things that are on, um, sold only online. So those I'm going to pick up offline, I guess. But I'm going to share with you guys what I, what I picked up in store today. So I got the big bag. I guess it's not a good sign, right? Alright, so the first thing I'll show you guys is this Sephora bag that they tend they usually give these out every sale. This is just a tote bag, I believe. First thing that I picked up is from Marc Jacobs. Uh, this is Daisy. I actually showed you guys this in my recommendations video and my wish list video, so I ended up picking it up and I'm so excited because I love the way this smells so good to me like and it's perfect for spring so I'm excited to have a new spring fragrance this is so cute you guys see this oh my goodness I love it so much so the next thing is from Murad this is the Murad skin smooth and polish I've I used to use this about a year ago and I really really liked it and when I ran out for some reason I never repurchased it I don't know why I, I guess I forgot about it but it is so good and it actually looks like it won the 2016 in style best beauty buys this stuff this stuff is really really good my skin ever felt really rough or I just feel like I had a lot of texture or just just uneven skin I would use this and it would just take it all away I remember loving this so much and I used all of it actually this was not on my list but I, while I was browsing I saw it and I was like you've been missing like where have you been my you know this past year I don't know all right so next I got this little kit this is from drunk elephant is the rise and glow and I showed you guys this because I wanted to get it I, I've been meaning to try this brand for a while and since they have these mini versions I figured I would try these out first to see how I liked it this kit is for morning morning time skincare so the next thing I picked up is the Anastasia brow definer in dark brown you guys know if you've been watching me for a while I am a die-hard benefit brow girl like the goof proof has been my jam and then before that the cabral for like probably a year now since the whole new collection of benefit came out before that I used to use the brow Wiz for a while and I just felt like a change I, I don't know sometimes you just you know for no reason you feel like you just want to change things up and try something new and different well not new but different I don't know so I decided to pick this up again I've used it in the past I used to like it um, but I guess Actually, I used to like the Brow Wiz, but I decided to go with this one because this one is more similar to the Goof Proof with the more um, triangular shaped product. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so next I got this, what is this called? It is a lip liner, a plump line lip liner from Buxom. And this is in the shade Dolly Danger. I saw somebody talking about this a while ago, maybe like a month or two ago. Not that long ago, because these are not, these are kind of new. Um, but I, it looks really good, so I decided to try it out. I've never tried anything like this from Buxom. I've only tried their glosses. So I'm excited to see how this works. So basically it's a very thick pencil. And on one side you have a brush to kind of blend everything out. And on the other side you have this type of pencil situation so you can apply it I wonder did it come with a sharpener nail no. I guess I'm going to sharpen it with this so yeah I'm excited to try that out and the shade is pretty basic like it's like a mauve shade I don't even know I have a lot of swatches on my hand right now because I literally just came back from Sephora you see that no you see that <laughs> anyways this is it right here so it looks pretty basic mauve but I want to see how it looks on the lips. And then it looks like I got a little part. It looks like I got a little thing in here. What is, let's see what this is. I love surprises. Ooh. So 
super cute. Oh. oh, I got a little brush. I got a mini brush from Sephora and it's in red, you guys. This is so cute. I actually wanted to buy this. It's so cute. So next I had to get the uh, Farrah Lashes from Huda Beauty. Really, really gorgeous in the package, at least I hope. They look just as good on the on the eye and I think they will. These are actually faux mink. And I'm excited to try these because they look really good. Next, I got a Smashbox B Legendary Liquid Pigment. Basically, one of their liquid lipsticks. And it's in the shade Mauve White. And it's just a mauve color, as you could probably assume from the name. But I just wanted to try out their products. I've never tried any of their liquid lipsticks. Okay. Actually, I have tried their liquid lipstick. I haven't tried this formula. So what it looks like here, it looks like a more uh, satiny finish. The liquid pigment, I don't think it's supposed to be mattifying. I think it's just like a really rich color. That's what it looks like on my hand at least. So I'm excited to try this out. I also got it in the shade Mauve Wife and this one is the metal version. I've never ever worn a metal lip before. The closest I've ever came to this is the MAC Lip Glaze. I mean the MAC glaze lipstick formula like the, that's the closest to metallic i've ever came so i'm excited to really i'm excited to try this out <laughs> okay i'm just gonna have to rip this open because it's not working out for me there we go <laughs> this is what this one looks like it is more of a of a liquid if, as you guys probably could guess but it looks really pretty so definitely outside of my comfort zone and different but i can't wait to try it why not all right, and then I got from Bobbi Brown, I got the Retouching Face Pencil. And I got this for cream contour purposes. I got it in the color Rich. Ooh, I got a sharpener. Perfect. All right, so it comes with a sharpener, and then it comes with the pencil. So this is just a little bit darker, a little bit darker than my skin tone. So it will be perfect to contour with, hopefully. I'm trying to find the perfect cream contour product so that I can do a really nice cream contour that blends out really easily. So hopefully this does the trick. And then last but not least, I got the Dior uh, Forever Dior Skin Forever Foundation in the shade 50. Um, I've heard tons of good things about this foundation, so I'm excited to play with it and see how I like it. So this is what it looks like here. I'm excited to wear this foundation. I've heard such good things about it and I can't wait to wear it out for a couple days, a couple weeks to see how I think, how I feel about it. So yeah, that's it. We're getting to the end. So that is it. That's all that I picked up from the sale in store. I will be getting some things online as well. So I don't think I'm going to call those because it's not that many things, maybe like a couple things. So I'm just going to mention them here and there, I guess, if I like them. But anyways, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. This is pretty cute, I think.